The VG, also called the VN diagram, is a visual representation of load factor versus indicated airspeed, showing the normal operating flight envelope and the limiting load factors, which identify when structural damage up to catastrophic failure may occur. It is valid at a given weight, altitude and flap configuration. The flight envelope considers both manoeuvring load factors induced by the pilot and load factors caused by turbulent wind gusts. Let's start with the limiting load factors, in this case plus 4.4g and minus 1.8g. Next we have the curves showing the maximum lifting capability of the wings for both positive and negative load factors. For any given airspeed and load factor, these curves identify when the wings reach the critical angle of attack and stall. We will refer to these curves as the stall curves. From here, we can see the 1G stall speed Vs, which in this example is 64 knots. A 2G load factor, which is typically reached in a steady 60 degree banked turn, we see that the stall speed increases to just over 90 knots. The limiting load factors cannot be reached in the hatched areas to the left of the stall curves, since the wings are stalled in this area and cannot generate the required lift force. The next very important point of interest is the intersection between the stall curve and the positive limiting load factor, called the design manoeuvring speed, VA, which in this example is 135 knots. The significance of VA is that it is the minimum airspeed at which the limiting load factor can be reached aerodynamically. When flying below VA, the wing stalls before reaching the limit load factor. Above VA, full deflection of any flight control can result in permanent structural deformation and damage. There are a couple of caveats. Combined full deflections, and in particular rapid reversals of flight controls, can result in both structural damage and even failure below VA. Also, at aircraft weights below the maximum takeoff weight, VA is actually less than the figure specified in the flight manual. The next point of interest is the maximum structural cruise speed, VNO. This is related to limiting gust loads outside the direct control of the pilot, caused by thermals, mountain waves, and other similar atmospheric phenomena. A minimum margin between the VNO and the never exceed speed, VNE, is also required by regulation. Calculation of the gust envelope is a bit complex and outside the scope of this video. However, as seen here, when superimposed on the manoeuvring envelope, the gust envelope can affect the final shape of the flight envelope. And finally, we have the red line, never exceed speed VNE, in this case 225 knots, which is only a breath away from structural failure. The moral of the VG diagram is essentially to operate your aeroplane in the range between the stall speed VS and the design manoeuvring speed VA. When operating above VA, limit loads can easily be exceeded by a combination of pilot-induced and gust loads, and VNO may only be exceeded in exceptional circumstances in smooth air. VNE is exactly what it says on the tin, never exceed. Pilots must be familiar with all of these V-speeds and load factor limits, all of which are specified in the aircraft flight manual. Hopefully this makes your understanding of the VG diagram, limiting load factors, and the normal operating envelope a little clearer. Thanks for watching.